Hello, I have a little science demo video to show you. I got this little motor out of an old tape rewinder and I was wondering how fast it went because I want to do some stuff with strobing lights. I made this little thing with little windows on it and how I wanted to know how fast that would rotate. There's a lot of stuff online about figuring this out with optical tachometers and stuff. And I don't have any of those on hand right now. But also DC motors like this sometimes have rotating magnets in them. And that means the magnets are moving and that means that we can use the um, effect that moving magnets have on uh, electricity with little coils like this to measure that. And I, what I did was I made a little coil of wire, like an electromagnet, hooked up to my oscilloscope probe here. Here's my oscilloscope running. All right, I'm gonna put the motor next to the little coil and I'm gonna make it run. And you can see, you can actually see on the video, that's nice. The little spikes show up in periodic form on the scope. And so we can tell the scope to capture one picture of that, like that. And we can use some simple math mathematics. And it actually is very simple in this case because these little spiky friends actually line up really well with the grid that's on the scope right now, which is about, um, which is two milliseconds per grid line. And so they, the, that means that we're getting a little magnety boy every two milliseconds. Um, by poking at the motor physically, I can determine, or I had determined, that there are six magnets around the circumference of it. So that means that, you know, it's, it's a magnet's going by every two milliseconds. Um, it means, you know, six have to go by for a whole rotation. So, you know, that's 500 rotations a second divided by six. It's about 83. Um, so we can say the motor's running about 83 hertz. Uh, ish. There's, you know, there's some fudge in here that I could do a better job with. I did this by visual inspection. So there's two holes right in the little window jammy I made, which we can show here. And so, you know, multiply by two, we get 166 hertz. So, um, then the next question is, uh, is, is you know, can I, we create a visible strobing effect using this? Um, I'll show you that in a second here. All right, so I'm going to try to show you this. So this friend here is a signal generator. It just generates sine and square waves um, at certain frequencies. And uh, right now, what I'm doing is I'm using it to drive a little amplifier, which oscillates these LEDs um, right here. Now, right now, they are oscillating at roughly mm, a, you know, about 160, 170 hertz, which is kind of what I said, you know, the little windows in this motor were running at. Um, and you can't really see them, you don't really see them blinking because that's actually fast enough that it's hard to see with your eyes. But what we can do is we can shuffle them out of frame like an idiot uh, and put this little, yep, yeah, oh, yeah, there we go. We can run this little friend here and all of a sudden, they seem to flash very slowly. And, you know, you can see, up steady, flashing very slowly. And we can actually futz with the uh, frequency, and I'm futzing with it very, very tightly. Like, only, like, you know, fractions of a hertz here. And they, you know, seem... You can make them flash or seem steadily on or, you know, steadily off, depending on the phase, right? We can find, you know, something that looks... Oh, yeah, oh, oh. And that's because they're doing, like, a strobing effect. And so, like, the, the timings of the windows in the wheel and 
the uh, frequency of the LEDs are very close and so you only get to see them when the window is over the LED and that winds up being most of, you know when it's on mostly you know slowly you know going out of phase when it's off and that's why it slows down you see this is like a beat frequency so that's exciting you can tune them to each other visually it actually is very accurate in terms of tuning it's the basis for things like um, strobe tuners for instruments where you actually drive the frequency of the light with um, the instrument itself and so you, know, you plug a string and it generates a bunch of frequencies and that's actually amplified and used to strobe a light which you then do something very similar in terms of windows um, it's also the same principle used for um, tuning the speed of some turntables so that's um, a little science a little audio science here stuff I can do with this equipment which is you know should be used for something more important but that's privilege all right have a good day